This is the morning show on KCMU. We're going to be switching over to uh, the other station. Bye. And uh, I'm coming up to the front door. I am in the booth. And this is one small step for 90.3 FM and one giant leap for the future of radio. This is 90.3 FM KEXP Seattle. That was Rustin Meyer's Monday or Forever from the album Steady Jobs and Flying Cars. Here with the Music Matters, 90.3 FM, KEXP. Hey, welcome to the world of KEXP Radio. My name's John Richards, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to what makes KEXP Radio such a unique radio station. It's my job to tell you all about what we do here. But first, a little history. KEXP went on the air in 1972 as KCMU, and we're at the dial 90.3 FM, licensed to the University of Washington. In the spring of 2001, KEXP, the University of Washington, and the Experience Music Project formed a partnership allowing KEXP to expand on its current format. That's a lot of music. KEXP plays a lot of music. Our format includes all kinds of different genres, including rock, country, rap, blues, electronica, ambient, techno. If you think of it, we play it in our mix each and every day. We even use vinyl. Now, I don't know how many stations still use vinyl, let alone let their DJs program their own shows, but we still do. These are state-of-the-art facilities, which allow us to do even more on the air, including live performances. We have a live room here where a Brazilian band is currently on the air on Stevie Zoom show. Let's check it out. Where do you live? Uh, I, 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 I live in Rio de Janeiro. In Rio. Okay, well, if you guys are ready to do another tune, why don't yep. you go ahead and introduce one? Sure. Well, we're going to do Ar Arrivederci. I'm in one of the production rooms of KEXP. This is actually where we do the encoding for the web. Jack Walters is working on that. We get responses from listeners from around the world. Paris, London, New York. And I know we've got a lot of listeners in Japan. KEXP の選曲は日本では聴けない曲がたくさんあるから楽しいわそれに生の英語が聴けるから英会話の練習にもなって一石二鳥ね I now want to introduce you to KEXP's executive director, Tom Mara uh, KEXP exists here to uh, enrich people's lives We do it in two ways by providing them with a wide and deep array of music that they just can't find anywhere else That's our cultural mission we have a technology mission as well. We enrich people's lives by exploring, developing, uh, applying new technology to extend the music experience. I'm now in the lobby of KEXP. We're still in the process of moving in, so we haven't put everything up on the walls yet, including all these gold records you see lying around on the couch. Over the years, KEXP has broken a lot of bands, both local and national, including this one called Soundgarden. This new collaborative partnership with EMP is going to enable us to become much more active. EMP is supporting the station in two ways, enabling us to use this new state-of-the-art facility uh, free of charge, uh, at the same time providing us with a partial subsidy for the next two or three years until we become self-sufficient. I think EMP and KEXP both are interested in going beyond the mainstream. As an institution, EMP is interested in exploring the unpredictable aspects of popular music and challenging people's tastes. I think KEXP does the same thing. It's music that you don't normally hear on the airways. It's music that allows people to be challenged. And to also, not only that, but explore new ideas and new artists that you can't get anywhere else. Stay tuned for more details. Oh yeah. The music matters at KEXP 90.3, and I'm Selected T. Scene from the Blood and Fire label album, I Shall Not Remove, a tune with the one Rankin Dread called Bandulu. Ay!
living iron at the park, playing on the swings. We're at home listening to the radio. It's always tuned to KEXP. Nobody else is going to give Livia the boogie music from around the world that she craves. I'm a huge fan of KEXP, but especially of the morning show with John Richards. Not only is the music good, but there's a wide variety of it. And after years of commercial radio, I'm so thrilled that we have a station like KEXP here in Seattle. I paint this whole goddamn town blue. Wind in a mom, 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 wind in a mom, mom. KEXP is extremely important for the local community because it's the, really one of the first places that people hear about new local bands. When you have a local band being played on, on KEXP in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the night, um, you're going to reach a whole lot more people than you are uh, just about any other way. I listen to music all the time and I get really frustrated with the commercial stations because I hear the same stuff over and over again in the oldies stations. You know, I like all those songs, but how many times can you hear them? On KEXP, I'm always getting turned on to new stuff like Diamond Fist Wernie, Tahiti 80, Granddaddy, just so many great bands that the commercial stations wouldn't touch. KEXP is a leader in new technology. Whoa! And we're top notch at scaring the DJs with cameras in their face. We also were the first radio station to stream uncompressed over the web. Not sure what it means, but it was pretty impressive when they told me about it. With the new partnerships with the Experience Music Project and the University of Washington, they should be able to do more stuff I don't understand. We have a very unique organization here. We have uh, FM radio station KEXP, uh, UWTV. Uh, we originate Research Channel out of this facility. We're all part of the same department, and we're all part of Internet 2 and high-speed networking. KEXP has a whole suite of streaming audio formats on the internet. We have a real audio player at a couple different bit rates. We have an MP3 server which is playing MP3 audio at 56 kilobits per second. We also have a Windows Media Player. We run that as high as 1.4 megabits per second, which is uncompressed audio. It's stereo, it's on the internet, and it's better quality than broadcast FM. It's the best sound you can pick up on the internet. The basis of the unique capabilities here is in the expertise of the people. So what you have are computing people, networking people, and content people who are all coming together to try to make things work. They're part of various organizations, the Pacific Northwest Gigapop, which provides high-speed connectivity for the Pacific Northwest region. The University of Washington, which operates the Gigapop and the Research Channel. The Research Channel, which is a consortium of research institutions that participate in traditional broadcasting and uh, non-traditional broadcasting using new modes of technology. And as we explore and apply new technology, we're interested in using that new technology to extend this programming, extend this music experience to more audiences. Vicki Nauman heads up our effort to do just that. We're developing a very, very rich experience in our website. We want to serve listeners who may know us through our broadcast signal locally, as well as people across the country who may never ever hear us on the radio. We believe by developing these rich musical experiences, we'll set some new standards for the public radio industry, and we'll also be able to reach younger, new audiences that public radio traditionally hasn't been able to reach. Digital music has really taken off in the last couple of years. The quality has really gotten good so that you don't have to sacrifice sound quality to listen to music. Once you have music in digital form, it can be more than just the sound wave that's encoded into digital form. You can start including uh, pictures of the, of the artists and their biographies and their discographies and all kinds of related information. It's all just bits and bytes. You've heard a bit about this radio station and who our partners in music and technology are. But the exciting part is we're just getting started, so keep in touch and 
Check us out at KEXP.org and find out for yourself what makes KEXP Radio so unique. Ninety point three FM KEXP, where the music matters. Robin Hitchcock from uh, Jewels for Sophia. That was a song called Viva Sea Tac, and we've made our way closer to the Space Needle. This is the closest I've ever worked. So we're very excited about that. The sea 